Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are diving into the head-to-head -head comparison between two of NVIDIA's most powerful GPUs, the RTX 5090 and the, the RTX 4090. We will compare the performance running the WAM 2.2 Animate model. Specifically, we will be using a Comfy UI workflow which can do character replacement. Here's an example. Use a reference image and a input video. We can replace the character in the input video, so the results will be our new characters. If you need to use a cloud GPU, I recommend that there is a new platform called runc.ai that's a very easy to use the cloud GPU platform. They have some good pricing, lots of 4090 GPUs, also 3090 GPUs, and uh, I hold that the 5090 GPU is coming soon. They have a good uh, community images to make it uh, really easy to deploy the image you want, including some of the WAM 2.2 models. Give it a try at runc.ai. Firstly, let's compare the key hardware specs for VRAM and the memory bandwidth. The RTX 5090 packs 32 gigabytes of GDDDR7 with nearly 1.79 terabytes per second of memory bandwidth. By contrast, the RTX 5090 comes with 24 gigabytes of GDDDR6X at about 1.01 terabytes per second. More VRAM and faster bandwidth means the 5090 handles larger model and complex themes more efficiently. For tensor cores and AI performance, the 5090 features the next generation fifth tensor cores. It's great for AI tasks. Now let's compare the 5090 and the 4090 side by side on running the WAN 2.2 Animate. We will be using the same workflow for both 5090 and the 4090. We use the same input image and also the same input videos. On the right side, it's the 4090 GPU. On the left side, it's the 5090 GPU. Now they are running. The most uh, time consuming part is the WAM inferencing. Luckily, they only need uh, six steps. As we can see that from the progressing bar comparison, they both need uh, six steps. Um, the speed for the 5090 is about 12.83 uh, seconds per iteration. While on the right side, the 4090, it need about 19.61 seconds per iteration. The 5090 provided a 56% increase in the performance running the WAM 2.2 Animate. If you are generating lots of videos, you definitely can feel the difference. What about the GPU? So let's put them side by side also. We can see that this is the monitoring dashboard for both GPU. On the left is the 5090 and on the right is the 4090. We can see that the uh, VRAM usage for 5090 is around 24 gigabytes because it has 32 gigabytes of the VRAM. On the right side, the 4090, it uses around 22 gigabytes of the VRAM. Um, I think that may be one part of the reason that the 5090 is quite faster than the 5090. And uh, we all can also see the power usage. The 5090 is much more than the 5090. We can see that both sides have completed uh, the workflow. Here are the outputs. They are pretty much uh, almost the same.
Here are some more examples generated uh, from them. In conclusion, RTX 5090 is about 56% uh, faster than the 4090. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumb up and uh, share it. Please uh, subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.